guys welcome back to my channel i'm fa and if this is your first time here please do not make it your last by clicking on the subscription button give me a thumbs up okay encourage your girl so it's been a while it's been a minute i feel like i'm always taking breaks in and in and out but <laughs> this thing is not easy i'm trying to run other things but still i got you guys so as you guys know i'm more comfortable in like a vlog setting instead of that putting it down and being or it, it kind of makes me like stiff a bit but we're getting used to it um yeah i've been under inside swirled around the weather but we thank god for life i'm good and i got you guys so let's go straight to the point because this video is something i should have done like since the beginning of the year like my sister has been on my neck like like on my neck because the most asked question on our edo web page is what traditional day does this day fall on it passes this month or this week or this hour so <laughs> i'm here man so um today we're gonna be talking about excuse me i'm gonna be waving and waving my dress is a bit uh, tight you know <laughs> um we're gonna be talking about the edo calendar um for those of you who don't know what it is now let me explain in benin yeah when you want to do certain events especially like weddings and burials there are days you cannot bury people in benin there are days you cannot get married in benin like traditional marriage and the rights and everything so and most people outside the country don't have access to it in benin it's quite accessible you can easily get it but most people outside the country they don't have um access to it i even checked the internet i did my own personal search i checked youtube i checked facebook like it's nowhere to be found so your girl twist fa i got you guys so what clap for me ah because it's i'm still going to buy it and, and you know i don't subscribe in fact i'm waiting subscribe subscribe <laughs> so let me get to it so now we're just going to go to the obers palace or around the obers palace to get the calendar come with me guys hey guys so quick confession i'd actually gotten the calendar earlier this year like early january so i filmed this the day i got it but it's great for aesthetics so <laughs> hope you enjoy hey, well, can i pass here <laughs> thank you good afternoon sir i want to buy the calendar i don't know Okay, afternoon, sorry. 2022. Yeah. How much? Just one. Yes. Wow. Thank you.
Okay guys, so I got the calendar right here for you guys. I can't put my phone down, if not you guys cannot hear me properly. I have the calendar right here and I've studied it. Actually, I've been studying the thing, yeah? Because I got one last year, but it was like late last year and there was no point in posting it. Um, I got a lot of studying from my mom, my auntie and the rest. So I'm going to try and um, explain it to you as much as I can, okay? Alright, let's get to it now. We have four um, categories. We have four days split into different days or four categories, I guess, into different. Now we have the Edeke, we have the Ekenakan, we have Ekioba, and we have Agbado. Those are the four categories of days that are split into the like 365 days. So now the days that you cannot do anything are um Edeke and then um, Ekenaka. Ekenaka. Please excuse my pronunciation. I'm doing my best, okay? Edeke and Ekenaka. E Ekenaka. Yeah, those are the days you can't um do marriage rights or burial rights. But on um Agbado and Ekioba, those are the days you can. Now Eke and um, Ekenaka, they are days of rest. Like back in the day, people don't go to the farm, you don't go to the market, you don't trade, you don't do it's just like a day of rest. Yeah, you do nothing on that day. So translating to now, you cannot do like parties or like traditional burial rites and um traditional wedding rites and all of that. Okay? So um yeah i'm just gonna paste the month here for you so you can go through them then i have a an important note at the end of this video so please watch till the end if you want to know this important one it's something my auntie told me and i want to share but i want you to watch this video to the end so just come meet me at the end and i'll drop the important note okay hey guys welcome back i hope you found that useful and um yeah i'm still gonna put it at the end of this video so you can like screenshots and do whatever you want so the important note is because i asked my auntie where she was telling me she told me something important she was like let's say you start how do I explain? It's concerning a, a can and um, a day can and a kenaka. Let's say you start your ceremony on a kiagbado that is agbado or a kioba that is oba market day. You start on those days, and you okay. You know some people have seven days burials, yeah. Okay. Let's say you started, you did the rites on a kioba or agbado. And it's and um, definitely a day can fall into it and a kenaka. It doesn't matter. You're just passing through. It doesn't matter. You're just passing through. But on those days in particular, you cannot start the right, but you can pass through. If you've started already, you can continue your ceremony. But if you've not started, you cannot start. You cannot pay bride price. You cannot do burial rites on a day can and a kenaka. So with these few points, I hope I've been able to educate you and enlighten you and you found it um, useful and um, you're welcome. By the way, just thank me by subscribing, sharing and, you know, encourage me so I can do more. And if you people can send me, I can go and find out anything for you. I got you guys. So with love from me to you, enjoy. I don't know what else to say. My hand hurts, man. I forgot my... Um, tripod and all of that so we're just making do what we got here okay i hope i did great i hope i did good okay all right see you guys
and go watch again. I'm just gonna paste it right there. Bye guys. Oh, monoban, I talk,